Hey, good morning, YouTube. Just a quick look. It's 9 o'clock, Tuesday, April 24th. And this is where the kitchen sits. I got in here yesterday, Monday. Did a final sand of all the walls and ceiling, all the exposed stuff, of course. Had to spot prime a couple areas where I burned through the primer. Two coats of top coats of 1650 Kelly Moore Swiss coffee. See the difference. But then you start getting up here and it all looks, it all looks white. So it's kind of neat, it's not so stark. I also got all the filler pieces put in place. As you can see, oh, my, text, my phone is blowing up. As you can see, the uh, I had to put blocks in because this wood was, was shaped like a U, man. I don't know, right out of the factory package. It, uh, I had to put blocks in here. I had to custom cut those to fit against the ceiling. So when I glued and pinned these in place, these in place, they would hold. And I'm just gonna leave those blocks there. They'll get hidden by the crown mold. I'm really impressed with the hardware. The hinges, the drawer slides, Thomasville cabinets. Um, this stuff's not cheap. I'm not saying it's cheap, but the hinges and hardware on this stuff is really cool. I mean, they're really easy to adjust. Um, the, this self-closing deal that's incorporated. In the old days, you used to get, you used to have to add a, a little hydraulic type spring plunger here that would physically contact the door as it closed. You clip it on after you did it, and that would. But now they've incorporated it into the hinge, which is awesome. Awesome. Look at they they dovetail all their drawers and everything are dovetailed. It makes for such a stronger box. Oh man, these things are gonna last forever. Forever. Look at that. Oh, does I fall over? Look at that dovetail. Pretty sweet. That beats the heck out of the cheap off the shelf stuff. Or even some of the lesser brands don't. They don't all do the dovetailing. But LED lighting. We've decided for the undermount. We're going LED. We saved a little money on the lighting budget with these can lights because these are really not that expensive, even with the trim rings. So we had some extra money budgeted for lighting. So we're gonna spring for LED lights. And that actually still will keep us below our budget on that. So that's good. It's always nice to come out under budget on a job. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. See what happens. The guy should be here in about a half hour. I'm gonna check my messages. I've got three text messages already since since I started this video. Oh, I'll be right back. not too shabby I just wiped everything down with a damp cloth I will hit it tomorrow and buff it out came out pretty shiny though there's just a lot of dust from when they cut but until the glue they use a PL some sort of construction adhesive to hold this down I don't want to offset anything a little shelf a little plant shelf is all right they did a pretty decent job on the seam it's super flat man I can't even feel it and quite honestly, if you weren't, if you didn't see the change in grain, where is it? It's right here. Follow my finger. That's the seam for the kitchen sink. It's 
it's really not bad they got the grain close though and then the other seam that one's pretty obvious because we've got perpendicular grain going but it's smooth as it's very smooth we did a real nice job at lining things up pretty cool so the plan for tomorrow is to get these this window trimmed out and the sill for the window done get this door replaced and get this trim done <coughs> so I can lay out the um, backsplash now that I have a good feel of the colors in this environment and in this lighting I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do this this is sticking out three quarters of an inch so I figure about a half inch or so it'll still stick out a little bit unless I get really thick but I don't really want to get that thick here and I don't have a lot of room between here and here so I don't know yet I've got measurements I'm gonna to go to lumber yard tomorrow I'm gonna to stare at all the flat stock they have and see what strikes me hopefully it won't be a forklift so not too shabby of a Tuesday pretty productive I'm gonna get out of here I've got about another four hours of work ahead of me on another job I need to get done I need to get done it's gonna to be tonight and tomorrow night split in two but I can work after hours which is good good there you have it. Thank you for watching. A productive Tuesday. I will get this uploaded tonight when I get home to keep you all that are in suspense uh, out of suspense. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.